Flux just got better in 2025. With this new version that I saw, it thoroughly reduces the plasticity that other Flux generations usually have. And when I say this, I mean without fine tuning, LoRa training, or anything just in their raw forms. Now, one thing even crazier is that in this same AI platform there is the latest Kling version 1.6 for free. Yes, you heard that right. For those who don't know, Kling released one of the best video models out there. But as always, if you're on the free plan, you are gonna wait till eternity. Luckily, on this website that we are using today, it's free and only takes about five minutes to generate. But of course, it is limited and comes with a watermark. However, Brain Project is here, and at the end, I would show you how to get more credits and remove the watermark completely for free. And since the last time I did this, the website closed it down, I'll reveal the name of the site around the middle of the video. So watch the whole thing. And don't forget to like this video. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the platform that we are talking about. And as you can see, it's really cool. It can actually generate and edit images for you. And it is powered by Flux. If you come over here, you can train a concept model. You can go here to your movies and your charts. Here you can start a new chart. You can go here to gallery to see all the images that are generated and your uploads as well. You can go to concept models, which is important, and you can import from Civit AI. For those who don't know, Civit AI is a platform full of really cool LoRa's, checkpoints, and fine-tuned datasets. As you can see, you can generate images on it, but it doesn't have the latest flux which is what we want to use on the other website, but it's actually very cool. And these are just the featured models, but we're not focusing on Civit AI. So we'll just go back here and you can even import SDXL models and LoRa's here as well. So if you've watched my previous videos where I taught you how to make LoRa's, you can import those LoRa's here. Or if you want to generate consistent characters, you can go here and train your own concepts, but it is a paid feature. But don't worry, all the tools that are going to use today are completely free. You can also go here to workflows and you can create your own workflow. If you don't know how, you can click on show me and it will give you a tutorial on how to get started. It's more or less like Comfy UI, but it's not actually Comfy UI, but it is similar because it uses a node based system. So these are just some examples of the workflow, but I'm not focusing on it now. You can also go here to community to see what the community has produced. So this is what the community has been making. Let's take a look at some like this one, which is for animated images. Then this is for style transfer. It's also for face swap, which is awesome and you can use it as a template here. So as I said, it's a workflow based system, which is awesome. So you can just go back here. You can have a look and it's very good with text since it uses flux which is very awesome. You can also get extra free credits if you follow them on X or and join their Discord. I just felt like I should point that out for those who need. But of course, I show you even more ways to get extra free credit and to use it consistently. For now, you can just go back to home. This is where we can use the flux. Go to text to image, click on it. And as you can see, you can use text to image you can upscale an image, you can remove objects, change the background, and other things. So before we go on and use the beta version of Flux, we'll try out the upscaler. So go here to upload images, then simply uploading your own. So as you can see here, I've successfully uploaded an image. Then, we will just press send. And let's see how it does. So for some weird reason, it doesn't seem to work, so let's just try the change background feature. Then describe the new background. Then for this, we use Flux Pro. Now this is not the latest Flux we use now. Cause I mean, we've all used Flux Pro. So, so you just have to wait and click on send. So now as you can see, it's done here and it's not so great, though it did a wonderful job even though the image we used was really blurry. So now let us try the text to image with the latest flux. So now just make sure text to image is selected. Then go here and then choose flux ultra, which is currently the best. You can remove the image. Then you open up chat GP. Once you open up chat, tell it to make or generate a prompt for our AI influencer. Remember to always tell it to be highly detailed 
and in order to prevent it from giving us a long prompt, you can specify the amount of characters it should be. So now, in no time, it is done. You can just simply copy this, then go back and paste it in. You can go here and select the number of images, and the aspect ratio will leave it at one by one. For the number of images, we'll leave it at two. Then click on save, then press send. Now boy oh boy, it is done. As you can see, we used Flux Ultra, and just take a look at this. As you can see, it's perfect, highly detailed, and has a high resolution. And it's up to you to decide if this is what you want to use. For me, I feel it's wonderful and looks way less plastic than other Flux versions without fine tuning or using Lura. So now, let us use Kling 1.6. Now for making it this far, the site is called Rubber Band or search Rubber Band AI on Google. To use Kling 1.6, simply go back, click on Create a New Chart. Then these are just the charts that I've used before. Then head over here to Video. And as you can see, not only can you use Kling 1.6, but you can use Dream Machine, Harper 2.5, Tencent Hanyuan, Minimax, and Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. So we'll just choose one, six, and choose the standard. We'll just leave it at that. Then you choose the start frame. You can upload in an image here. In case you're confused, every video is basically an image, and if we didn't manually select the start frame, it would have generated the image for us. But we will choose this one here. Then you type in your prompt. When done, click on send. Okay, so now it is done. And take a look at what it cooked. And boy oh boy, as you can see, it got it perfectly. And spot on, everything is just perfect. And if you have been a fan of this channel, you would know how much I dig those small movements, especially for AI influencers and selfie videos. So now let me show you how to get free credits or more credits and remove this watermark. Just go here, click on export movie. Then it should start downloading. Now, first of all, let's talk about getting more credits. So currently this one here only allows one generation per day. Of course, you can always get free credits like this, but that won't be enough for the videos. You can actually do all the Flux Ultra stuff there, but for videos, it's only allowed one per day. But just simply log out, then head over to TempMail and use a temporary email to sign up. And they'll send you a verification code for the account, which you can use to sign up. Now that that is done, let me show you how to remove the annoying watermark. So for that, just simply create a new tab and then search for free watermarker remover from video. I like to use the one from vMake, then simply drag in the video. And it should start right about now. So for some reason the one at vMake was not working. It didn't remove the watermark. So instead, I go to the one at Fodor.com. You can still download the preview for free. Or if you have a plan, you can download the full HD. You can see it successfully removed the watermark. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.